My music is sort of like, imagine uh, the orchestral arrangement of Fiona Apple or Rufus Wainwright with the instrumental layering and vocal layering of Sufjan Stevens and Bon Iver and tie it together with the bombastic rock drums of the Flaming Lips. I play most of the instruments on the album. Uh, I play all the keyboard instruments. One of the string instruments within the quartet, and I do all the vocal layering. I can't wait to get these songs out into the world. Uh, I feel like part of me has been kept up inside of myself and hasn't been shown to anybody. And now it's time. It's time to let it all out. It's time to to allow my music and my creativity to take its place in the world. And I'm ready for it. And my brother Adam, who is the engineer that I worked with for this album, he takes care of the drums and the bass on every track. Working with Adam has been one of the best parts of the process of this album. Um, we actually didn't play very much music together until this album. Uh, he was just enough older than me to think that it was like way uncool to play music with his little sister when we were growing up. <laughs> And so we just, we just never did anything. That and I was, I was much more into classical when I was younger, and he was much more into rock. But I think that's really helped shape this project in a way that nothing else could have. Um, I brought the, the chord progressions and the arrangements and the strings, and he was able to bring the, the flavor of the drums and the drive of the music. So we, this is the first time that we've ever worked on music together and come to find out we have so so much in common with our musical styles because we grew up listening to the same stuff we grew up with the same influences the same teachers and it's been a really really amazing experience to work with him and to to learn this about him and just to be able to to trust somebody completely with my music and to know that they're not going to lead you astray I've been playing with Charlene Kay and the Brilliant Eyes for the last two like and a half years. I'd like to invite Megan Cox up to the stage now. When I moved to the city, she was the first violinist I ever played with, and like, luckily she didn't suck, and we <laughs> kept playing together. Luckily she was cool enough as a person that I wanted to keep in the band. The Star Kid Connection. I was lucky enough to be invited on the Space Tour as part of her band, which was opening up for Star Kid. This time around, I'm actually currently on the Apocalypse Tour with Starkid as well, and I'm so lucky to be able to be playing in their band. What a blessing that has been. Just what an amazing experience. The people are so gracious and so kind and so fun to spend time with. And the experiences, the shows, are unlike anything I've ever I've ever done, I've ever experienced. It just, it has reaffirmed to me that I know that performing is what I want to do and that, and that I can do this and that this is going to be a part of my life and that someday I will be doing this on my own and, and I'm really excited for that. These songs are like my children. <laughs> Some of them have been swimming around in my head for years and years and years. In fact, I found the, the original seed of the idea for one of my songs in a journal from when I was a junior in high school. And it's, it's just amazing that it's grown with me and changed with me for that long. Take a holiday from the neighborhood. I'm 
very, very excited to release them into the world and, and to finally kind of give them a life, give them a home, and give them a place in my personal history and in, in the history of music and, and to kind of make my mark there. Songs will make you cry and make you laugh and make you want to hug a puppy and kiss a baby and, and, and then cry again. <laughs>